<laughs> What's good, guys? It's your boy Nerd I Am. I'm back from MomoCon 2018, and God, I got this review ready for y'all. Real talk, this review is about to be lit. Yes, it is. You already know. I'm gonna talk about the good, the bad, and the what the hell ever. All right. Since last year I did not attend MobileCon 2017, I'm gonna compare it to MobileCon 2016, which I did go only for two days. But hey, those two days were still fucking awesome. So uh, let's get into it. All right. Let's talk about the the arrival of going to Momocon 2018. I left America around about 4 o'clock a.m. Got to the CN building around about 7.30. The building was empty as fuck. <laughs> like, really. Usually when I get there early, I'll see a couple people walking around, but I really see nobody. It was just me and two of the Congors walking around. And so, yeah, I guess, you know, because it's day zero, I guess... People figure out like, hey, nobody comes on Thursday, so why the fuck should we get there early? So, whatever. Um, you know, I walk, walked around the venue, and you know, of course, when you see that mobile con logo and that and that mascot and the posters everywhere, you know that you're gonna have a great time. It felt so so great. It did. I love seeing that mobile. When I walk in, I see that mobile con sign. I'm like, I'm home. I am fucking home. But, um, that was, you know, just the arrival of it made me happy because I missed last year and it just made it even better this year. Uh, let's talk about the line, the, um, badge pick -em line. Badge pick -em line this year was fucking amazing. I think this is the fastest line in con history to go pick up your badge. Like, I was, even though I was the first one there because I was a walk-in this year, but, People who was going to get in their badges, they pick up all online and stuff like that. We would, I mean, like this. And I was talking to other people throughout the day when they would ask them how fast long did it take to get their badges. They said they didn't stay in line no longer than three minutes. That's for walking and for um, picking a badge up online. I mean, like, Momocon, y'all awesome. Y'all are really, really awesome. And another thing, too. Cause Thursday they said it was supposed to um start at twelve. They actually started at nine o'clock, which it was three hours earlier. Y'all are y'all are amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> y'all y'all the MVP, y'all. Y'all are the MVP. Uh, now let's talk about the venues for each day. All right, Thursday venue. I ain't gonna lie, I was a little bit surprised. It was a pretty good amount of people. On day zero, usually on day zero, you don't get that many people because you know it's Thursday, people still at work, or they know they ain't gonna be that many cosplayers there or not that many people there. But actually, it was a good bit of people, even though they had a few things going on. But hey, it was a lot of people there, especially outside in the courtyard. Yard, I met some people out there, we were sitting there talking, having a great time. It was, I like it, it was chill, but with a lot of people, it really was chill. I did like that. Um, so Thursday venue was okay. Um, then you had Friday, day day one. You know, more people, more cosplays. Courtyard was getting a little bit full of which I love. I love that courtyard outside is awesome. You know, everybody get get together, hang out, dancing, having fun, talking. You know, acting like the cos acting like the cosplays and stuff like that. It was that was awesome. Um, then also the it was just it was just it was good. I liked it. I liked it. Um, Saturday venue was a bit bigger because you know everybody and their mama off, everybody and their mama were there. More cosplays. Like Saturday, when if you just want to go to a con one day, go to the Saturdays to the Saturday day because that's when you go have a lot of more people, a lot more epic cosplays, all that. I mean, it was good. It was good. Saturday was all. It was good, and you could tell it was a lot more people. I mean, to me. It was really a lot more people than from 2016, and I'm not mistaken. I overheard that was this year was what 45,000. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. If I am wrong, please somebody comment down below and let me know that what was the round number of people this year. Sunday venue. Um, I didn't stay long. Um, early. I love that morning because I was trying to beat the traffic. I hate no the traffic with a passion. 
And since that, it was a lot of people at MomoCon. I know that if we at the same time, I probably want to get home to run my damn, hell, almost like 11 o'clock at night. So I didn't want to risk it. But Sunday video, you know, mostly everybody it was getting ready to go. You know, most of the stuff was already getting packed up and stuff like that. But hey, it's Sunday. It's the last day where you get to say goodbye to the people that you just met and your old friends. So it's Sunday venue. Um, now let's talk about the nightlife for Friday and Saturday. Friday's nightlife, um, it was pretty awesome. You know, courtyard was filled up, people dancing and stuff. And also, Mokan had hosted a first 21 up at the party. Yeah, a 21 up at the party, which I thought it was a good idea. It had, a, you know, for us grown people, you know, because we love to drink and we love to have, you know, we love, to, we, love, we, have, we love to drink and also have a good time. And they had an after party down the streets at a place called Stats. Um, it's like a pub. And it was pretty awesome. You know, they had, we had the upstairs, like on the roof and stuff. Um, they had the DJ uh, music. They were bumping, I mean, they were bumping all types of music anime, rap, shake your ass music, etc. It was a great atmosphere for us just to kick back, relax, and drink and have fun. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, tickets on the website was $10. Walk in was 20 I was a walk in, and me and my homies were walk in. Cause at first we were kind of scared because we found out that they said most of the tickets almost sold out. But we was lucky because they still had about like 20 rich bears at the door when we got there. So we was like, thank you, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> so, yeah, but the, yeah, the tour went up at the park was pretty dope. I liked it. I think next year they might need to choose a bigger venue somewhere, like, you know, because it was getting kind of packed in there, but god damn it, we still had a good time. Uh, next is the nightlife for the Saturday Night Rave. Mm, the rave this year was actually, it was pretty lit. It was lit. It was pretty lit. Now, I ain't gonna say it was better than 2016 on rave, because that bitch was lit. But this one, you know, it was lit. It was good. It seemed that it was less people in the rave this year, but... I don't know, but it was still, people still having a good time. You had the multiple dance circles scattered throughout the rave, but I liked it. It was good. It was fun. Um, DJs, y'all killed, y'all did y'all thing. Y'all killed it. Real talk, y'all did. But, my more 2016 rave was still better. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just being honest. It's a review. All right, next, let's talk about the dealer's room and the game room. All right, dealer's room. This year, um, the dealer's room and the artist alley, usually you know the artist alley is they have they give it like its own little section, like a couple like two hours. But this year, artist alley took over half of the on the dealer's room this year, which I am happy because you have more artists want to show they and sell their artwork, which I thought was amazing. Like some of the artwork they had over there was amazing, dog. Like the poster, oh yeah, these like these shiny posters. Oh my god, they were so, they were badass. I actually picked me one up. I picked me up a um, like Archer Instinct Goku one up. It's still in my car. I need to go get that bitch and put it up in. That thing is fire, like really. Um, the dealer's room, um, that I mean, I think it was still a lot of vendors there, but you know, you can tell that some of the vendors, you know, they had like from um, 2015, 2016 wasn't there. Which I was, they probably can't get in contact with them or they just decided, hey, we this year thing I year just trying to sell stuff at the convention. Who knows? Who knows? But hey, the dealer's room was good this year. The game room. <sighs> the game room. The game room this year was awesome. Like, really fucking awesome. One reason why, because they had the Gundam cockpit. All right, I seen this on YouTube. Basically, it's a pod you can get in, and it's a virtual reality of a of you inside in a Gundam, and that shit's awesome. You have the control of your thing with jigs, your foot pedals, and all that. They had four of them. Um, I don't know if they had them last year, but this, that I, this year when I went, they were there. That thing was that thing was awesome. I loved it, and I got in that thing probably like 10, 10 times during the con. Like really, I did. Um, they still, um, they had 
Smash Brothers tournaments, they had Street Fighter tournaments, they had the retro arcade games, they had the retro consoles. They had a lot of new bitches. Like, dude, like, over half of the room was nothing but retro consoles and TVs on the other side. Um, then they had a dance stage where they did, um, what's the, what's the game? Dance Now, something like that, with um, the Kinect camera, you know, it's all your movement stuff. They had a stage for that. Um, they had the robot fights on the other side. It was, the game room was awesome. Like, the game, the game room never disappointed me. It never do. And plus, you know, the good thing about the game room, they have food trucks on the other side. Because, you know, me, I like to, when I game, I, look, I need to eat. I don't know what it is. When I game, I need some chicken, a sandwich, or something. I ain't talking about no goddamn popcorn or some chips. When I game, I'm gonna give me a goddamn good ass meal. And I'm glad they had all the head of food trucks over there. So if I'm sitting in a game, I'm like, damn, you know what? I'm gonna give my ass a slice of pizza, even though it's $15. Shots fired, Papa John's. <laughs> but yeah, game room was on point this year. God, I love the damn game room. I cannot wait to go, I can't wait to go back next year because they got them gun them. But Mama Clown 2018 was lit this year. Uh, nothing really to complain about. Um, everything was great. It's, <laughs> I love MobileCon. MobileCon is like one of my favorite cons besides MMA Week in Atlanta. Sorry, I, keep, I know I'm smiling. The reason why I'm smiling is because uh, I love conventions. I just love conventions. But, um, yeah, so that's it for my review for MobileCon 2018. Uh, the Momocon video is coming hopefully tonight or tomorrow morning. I just gotta keep, I gotta do finish up some editing on it and then shoot that thing out there to y'all guys. But hey, that's it. Like always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm gonna catch y'all guys later. The boy Nerd I Am is out. Peace.